Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes, and uh, I'm here to upload a video about, um, I want to talk about something that I uploaded a long time ago, and it has to do with uh, the film sphere, which is like uh, the immersive, interactive uh, uh, movie experience, you know, adventure, you know, um, and uh, and um, I, I, I uh, it's one of my old videos that I uploaded. It's in my um, my playlist of my math tutorials and all that. It's in the very bottom, and uh, it's one of my ideas that I had for like a uh, immersive film adventure experience uh, and movie experience for people, like a virtual reality. And it's like you're enclosing this little sphere, middle sphere with like a um, high definition screen all around you and whatever it has air blast and heat and all that and it flies around and it's not like a little arm, a metal arm that moves around you're flying around the world and stuff like that without any 3D glass or nothing like that so it's supposed to be like you're there but um, one thing that I want to talk about was because um, I feel like I have to upload the video because um, one of my original ideas about that was also too was to immerse the audience into the movie more better uh, to get them involved emotionally and uh, get them um, to make them feel like they're, they're involved in the adventure. But one way to really, really, really do that um, for now uh, is to um, have one individual experience the whole one hour and a half or whatever, or however long the movie or the, the virtual reality movie is in this virtual world. Um, one person to experience it themselves all, you know, um, in order for a person to really feel involved, you have to have one person sit in this, um, little, uh, enclosed sphere, sphere, you know, because, uh, you know, it's not like a regular theater where you go and you sit down, there's lots of rows of seats and the virtual sphere, because it's immersive, you're going to have this one person sitting down to, um, because it helps to better, uh, make them um, more immersed into the, the adventure. It becomes personal because they're by themselves. Now, um, I don't know if other people are going to reinvent virtual filming or whatever it is, you know, it probably still, it probably, it's probably gonna be, virtual filmmaking is still gonna be very similar to the past where like you're gonna have a big row of seats because they, you know, uh, they wanna make money. They wanna sell tickets and, and put people on the seats. So they're probably gonna have this virtual, uh, virtual uh, images popping out, 3D images like wearing 3D glasses, but you're not gonna be wearing 3D glasses. So it's gonna be something where like it's gonna be a holographic thing or something, or what we is like a quote unquote holographic, which is not really but close enough. And they're working on that for TVs, but um, but for me to really get the person really involved, to really get people involved in the adventure, you have to have them involved by themselves in the adventure by themselves sitting in this world experiencing the whole adventure for the hour and 20 minutes that the movie slash slash virtual experience is uh, interactive experience is you have them sit down and you know when you're sitting in the swim sphere the uh high high, uh, high definition screen that surrounds you that's bent around on the surface of the inner sphere surrounds you and uh, it's gonna be almost it's gonna be so flaw, uh, so uh, flawless and immersive that it's not even gonna feel like you know you're not even gonna notice that it's even a screen it's gonna be just a world so you get people involved just like when they go to sleep you know um, when people sleep they're so involved um, in their dream because they're by themselves when people live their lives, they get involved in their lives because they're by themselves. They're not a bystander, uh, like an audience viewing, like a third person view of yourself. You know, you're not detached. You're always there, a first person, you know. You're always witnessing things and touching things. And that's why you're, you're so immersed emotionally in yourself because everything around you is affecting you, you know. And it changes how you feel and think. And that's the same principle in terms of uh, being involved in new virtual movies is that you have to put one individual in the adventure by themselves 
so they can experience the whole entire adventure um, um, and they could um, <clears throat> um, interact and be more emotionally involved because because when people watch films nowadays they're watching it and they're kind of vicariously living through they're, they're, when people are sitting in the in the in the in a um, in a theater with other people, they're experiencing the film through their eyes. They are, but it's most, but ninety percent of it, eighty percent of it, is a vicarious. They're vicariously living through the experience through others. So they're waiting for um. They're waiting for people's reactions. They're waiting for how people react. If there's negativity or positivity toward toward the film. So people vicariously kind of live through other people in the theater. They're not really experiencing it truthfully from their own thoughts. They're not processing it how they would truthfully. Uh, like when you dream, you're truthfully processing things by yourself. And when you're, and the only way to really be involved in the film sphere is to uh, witness it by yourself, not to have any of this interrupt uh, um, other uh, other human. Um, interruption, human energy interruption, or a human body, or a social interruption, or uh, um, you know whatever it may be, you know uh, how, how humans always be, the, the the vicariousness of how people live through other people that we live every day. We do that subconsciously a lot of times, off and on, and we do that when we're in theaters. We sometimes don't even have a truthful, honest, personal reaction or a real personal, honest opinion about the movie because we're too busy vicariously living through the people that were surrounded in the theater that's sitting in the seats. But when you're in the, but what I wanna do in virtual filmmaking is have the individual, one person pay one fee, they sit in the movie and they witness the whole entire experience, the whole entire film, this virtual world flying around the world, feeling the heat and the sun and all this stuff witnessing and experiencing it so it can be more truthful so they can have a more truthful experience and they can uh more truthfully um um have their own personal develop their own personal opinion opinion about what they're experiencing a real personal deep under uh personal experience from what they're experiencing you know so they can uh not have any interruptions and they can uh witness it themselves It'll be, uh, the experience will be more deeper in their mind and their emotion and their heart when they experience it by themselves, you know? And that's what I believe uh, the future of filmmaking is, is to affect every individual, it, it, it affect every fan or every moviegoer individually so that the movie can be instilled in their heart and their mind more deeper. And maybe perhaps the virtual film whatever kind it is um, can maybe change their lives or help them improve their lives or help them uh, improve the way they think and feel of themselves because they're going to be experiencing by themselves the whole one hour experience is going to be by themselves without anyone else and that's much more deeper uh, they get more emotionally involved because now in town now they're being challenged to, to think for themselves and to be an individual, to be an individual and to think about what they're looking at and to really kind of push, it, it, it pushes them to be independent and to be an individual and it pushes them to figure out what they're feeling and to, and to better um, understand the situation in terms of the adventure. And then as time passes, as the technology becomes more normal and years pass and each of the more individuals experience these films by themselves individually, um, it, it, it'll help to improve human beings because it helps to make them better individuals and be more independent because it allows them to kind of separate this vicarious living through of others. Vicarious living through I'm sorry about that. And uh, and that's the thing, you know. Um, I, I'm in the restroom right here, but anyways, uh, you know, because it separates them from living through others, the vicariousness. Because I think that in society, 
we're living through, we're, we're vicariously living through others more often than we are living of our own selves. You know, we're not independent enough, we're not individual enough, we're not creating our own individual ideas enough. And so this kind of film sphere completely separates you from a world, a regular world, into a fantasy world, and it challenges you to really kind of figure out how you feel and think toward what you're experiencing. So it's more deeper. And in the, in the future, depending on the director and writers, if they want to add more, they can make the experience better by giving them, um, by having a message in them, having them interact, virtual interacting with the movie or something, you know? So that's why I think the future of filmmaking is, is individually affecting each person one by one and have them experience things on their own and push them to kind of think for themselves and to feel for themselves and they'll help them in the future. And uh, that's why I think the film's first, I don't know if I spoke about that in the other thing, but I'm just trying to make it more detailed and uh, give a better understanding to what I'm trying to do with my film sphere. And again, this, I uh, hope I didn't miss out anything. Again, this is Ricky Cespedes. Uh, thank you guys for watching, sorry for the toilet flush. I'm, in, I'm at work and I just wanted to record this and get this out there. Thank you very much for watching.